I'm at a shipper right now. They're currently loading the trailer. I'm going to show you guys a little trick that can help you in most cases that I found. Not all, most cases, so that you, even if you act, if you miss scaling the load or if you drive across a damn DOT way station before you had a chance to go to a CAT scale, this could save your ass. So I've already told you guys about 400 pounds, those little holes that are in the back of the tandems back here. One of the things that I've found is if you actually slide your axle in preparation of your next load, right now it's all the way forward, it can't go any more forward. If I move this block about two or three holes back, that usually balances out the load. So even if they, they're a little heavy on the front side or if they're a little heavy on the back side, if I put it at about the third mark, it usually works itself out. So just a little tip that could save you some time and hassle or even a citation down the road. Once they're done loading your trailer, because they'll probably have you slide the axle all the way to the back and all that crap. Once you slide that axle all the way back forward so that you've got your tight turning radius and everything. Once you do that, move it back two to three notches. See if that doesn't help you out down the road. Because I've found that a lot of times I just got to move it back two to three notches. If I have to move it back at all. The majority of the time, a good 90% of the time, it wants to be two to three notches from the front. So just slide that axle toward the rear, just a couple of notches, and you, the majority of the time, won't even have to scale. You should still scale so that you make sure that you're legal. But if you do it now, instead of huh, when you're at the truck stop on the scales, it'll save you time there so that you can get back on the road and get to your next paycheck. After you've been loaded, and you slide the trailer back, it yet means I need to slide the truck backwards until it does lock one two son of a bitch I need to go one two back no fucking thing didn't even move Three or four, well, that's close enough. We'll see what the scale says. What's interesting about this time, actually moving the axle actually screwed me this time. It actually put more weight on the trailer on the rear than it did on the truck. So. This is one of those times, one of the 10%, where it did not help. But I'm only over just a little bit, so DOT most likely would look the other way. But again, I did slide it four slots, and I meant to do three, so... So here it is, um, actually a few days later, and I've got a cold now. Uh, I actually had an opportunity to go back and look at that scale ticket, and I realized I made a mistake. The trailer axle was over. So I didn't want to slide the axle forward because what I ended up doing was making the trailer even heavier when I went across the scales at the DOT way station. Interestingly enough, they didn't pull me over even though I was almost 2,000 pounds over. Um, still, even though I slid the axle forward, which should have made it heavier, but it wasn't heavier. It was about the same, the same number which is very interesting, but anyway, I wanted to actually slide the axle back even more, so having it preset four holes back actually did help me, and I just needed to move it even further in order to be legal, or more legal, but I, they weren't looking for that, so they didn't pull me over, but um, it actually did help me. I thought that it didn't, but it did.